Hi, my name is Ray Olmedits, and I'm here to talk with you about my new application, Tune Hopper. Uh, it's an iPhone music game, and I wanted to uh, make a quick video to discuss all the uh, ways I'm actually composing music for this game, and the ways that I presented those to the programmer, and the way we put it all together for the application. Hopper was designed uh, to be similar to the Simon Says old game that we like with the call and response type of gameplay. Um, it has a game board uh, built from tiles, like kitchen floor tiles. Uh, the tiles go eight tiles high, it's sort of like a musical scale. And uh, it has this little creature which follows, um, similar to Simon Says, a little melody that goes on the tiles. And the creature will wait and you touch the melody out and try to remember which tiles it actually glowed on and the creature will jump. So that's the very, very basics of what the game is. Um, after that, basically, it gets harder. We introduce chords, we introduce rhythm, and it's all copied after musical notation. So uh, it's got a lot of educational elements, but at the same time, it's also very uh, entertainment focused. I really had a um, motivation behind making this application to create um, an educational music app that was also very entertaining, and so kids would be playing it having a blast and then just be subtly learning about stuff at the same time, learning about um, everything that we would teach ourselves if we had a piano teacher telling us about music notation. So on to orchestration. Once I've got my um, eight pitches, I've got a basic melody going and I've also got pitch files. I go over here to the sequencer and I can take a basic melody like this. For instance, I'm composing a classical album so it's all um, very simple um, standards from classical repertoire. So for instance, box minuet in G. So that right there could easily be turned into a little short song and put in to the game because it's got a very uh, simple melody. So here's an orchestrated version of that. It's this one. short. That was about 10 or 15 seconds long and uh, basically our albums are comprised of really short clips of these really popular melodies or original melodies and then orchestrated. Um, so you put nine of those orchestrated songs all together, they all have their pitch files, they all start with simple melodies that the user can play on the uh, game board and then they have the nice orchestrated finishing uh, songs at the end of every level. know about a cool composing device which we will be creating in March to make all these assets very simple to uh, present to us after you've designed some melodies. Uh, basically it would be built for the iPad and we have a grid pattern that would go top to bottom eight tiles high and that would just let you pick out tones on the grid pattern instead of even doing anything with pitch files or anything with sounds and that would just create a pattern for us to follow with original melodies and then if you wanted to you could upload finished songs at the end following those melodies that you created or uh, leave notes that we would create them ourselves. So um, that's a composing app which will probably come out in March. It's going to make it very easy for a lot of users who aren't even musicians to make music and a lot of kids will probably take advantage of this too which I'm really excited about. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to the composing app and hopefully you guys will love the Tune Hopper app when it comes out and it should be out again in the uh, middle of March. So thanks for watching.